Hi, welcome back to Books Beauty Kendra. I'm Kendra and today I am going to be doing the Aurelium Hopefuls. I guess not really a TBR because like I'm a mood reader most of the time so it's hard for me to stick to TBR. So these are the Hopefuls. Okay. Sorry, I haven't been here for two weeks been crazy busy just life <laughs> yeah pretty much if you don't know what the Aurelium readathon is it is a readathon built up by G from book roast it is a huge world that she's made and yeah I have been participating in it since the beginning so this is my third year. I have decided that my character, you build up characters, I'll leave her playlist in the description box so you can understand what's going on, but my character is going for their second year of being a moon warden. So for that I need art of illusion, astronomy, elemental studies, spells and incantations and restoration. So five books in total. First one being Art of Illusion, Focus, Disguise, Self. Match clothes colour to cover colour. I'm just reading off this. And for this, I'm going to be wearing white that day. And I'll read The Witch Hat Atelier, Volume 8. Or maybe I can wear some green or a hat or something. That'd be fun. This is the 8th book in a manga series and it's about this little girl called Coco who accidentally turns her mother into stone and now she's trying to find a way to bring her back. It's really nice and sweet, a little dark at points, but it's a good series. I really am enjoying it, especially more that we're getting into later volumes. Just been really good, yeah. The next one is Astronomy, The Eclipse Effect. Two letter E's in the title. I'm cheating a little bit for this one because there are more than two. But most of the time people don't count the word the when they're doing prompts. So we're not going to count the the or the's in this one and I've got the audiobook for this one so I'll listen to this one in April and that is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy this is a very very old copy <laughs> this is mum or dad's copy I had tried to read this when I was very young it wasn't for me let's try again because I've watched the movie and the TV show for it love the movie great movie if you haven't watched it please do it's really absurd and hilarious and it's just a great time yeah so this is about Arthur Dent and one day his house is going to be knocked down and he doesn't want that to happen so he lies in front of the bulldozer to stop it from being run over on that same day, the Earth is going to be bulldozed, destroyed, whatever, um, to make an intergalactic highway or something. And his friend Ford, that's his name, his, name, his friend Ford turns out to be an alien who takes him away to be a hitchhiker throughout the galaxy and it's all their fun adventures and I am excited to see what's the same, what's different in the between the book and the TV show and the movie. Because I know the movie and the TV show are pretty different. Let's see how it goes with the original stuff. Ooh, I know it was a radio play. The original written down work. Okay. Next for elemental studies, it is Botanic Controls, Flowers on the Cover. This one is a poetry book, actually. It's called 
Flower Crowns and Fearsome Things by Amanda Lovelace. Oh, the last one, I haven't said who any of these books are by. last one was by Douglas Adams, and The Witch Hat Atelier is by Kamome Shirahama. I think I said that name right, but we'll see. Amanda Lovelace. I have read her The Princess, or oh, their, I don't know what they are. Oh well. I have read the The Princess Saves Herself in this one. Love that series. I think they all got four, 4.5 stars from me. This is a new poetry collection from her. I'm a bit picky when it comes to poetry, so I hope I like this one. And yeah, just the back says, You're not the god of her. I don't know really what this poetry collection is about, but it should be fun. And there's lots of flowers on it just all flowers. Some of them are burning. Okay. <laughs> Next I have for spells and incantations spell. Magic missiles. This one's a precise one. So at target length is 389 to 415 pages. So the book has to end within those pages. I have chosen B.K. Borison's In the Weeds, which is this beautiful cover. This is the sequel to Love Light Farms, and it is, let's see, without all this extra stuff, it's 395 pages. So, fits in, just six pages in, <laughs> just made it. Um, this follows Beckett and it's a second chance romance between him and someone we meet in the first book in Love Light Farms. But I won't tell you who because it's kind of a spoiler. Yeah, but the first one was really fun. That was Christmassy. This one is either spring or autumn. It looks autumn by the colours, but the flowers make it look like spring. Oh well, we're going into autumn in Australia. This should be fun. The last class I have to take is Restoration. Oculi Cures. Close your eyes, shuffle and point. So, I am going to do a version of that. I'm going, I have three books. Here are my three books. Oh, it's very colourful. I have Give Me Love by Corinne Michaels. I have Unhinged by Only James. And I have Strange Weather in Tokyo by Hiromi Kawakami. So this is very different to the other two, but I have loved another book by this author a while ago. It's Nakanoku thrift store or something like that but yeah I'm excited to read this one if it comes up so they're either romance or very very short I thought that would be perfect because I don't I'm not reading that much at the moment which is not good but I'm trying to remedy that by reading more for this readathon okay I'm going to close my eyes Move the books around a bit. Plus, well, not great that I can feel what they feel like. I think I just put them back in the same order that they were in. I'm going to choose. this one. Me! I actually don't know what this one's about. But it's got the same type of cover as the last one. It says on the back, one night when she is drinking alone in a local bar, Tsuki Ko finds herself sitting next to her former high school teacher. Over the coming months, they share food and drink sake. And as the seasons pass from spring cherry blossoms to autumnal mushrooms, 
Tsukiko and her teacher develop a hesitant intimacy that tilts awkwardly and poignantly towards love. Okay, so still a romance. <laughs> okay, so I just remember the last one being very quirky. I'm hoping this one is the same. Okay. So that's it. That They are my hopefuls for Aurelium, the spring equinox readathon that's happening in April. I don't think I mentioned that before. But yes, next month will be spring equinox. Which is weird, because I'm now in autumn. Okay. These. Ugh. Only five books. Get it together, Kendra. These are the five books that I'll be reading. They're all pretty short. Very excited about that. So I should be able to get through them pretty easily. Okay. And that's it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you are participating in Aurelium, what you are reading for it. What your um, calling is for this year. And yeah, if you're not doing it, what's your favourite fantasy world, really? That's what I want to know. Okay. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you hopefully next week. Okay. Bye-bye.